pull-up is a particular type of distortion on seismic images that are displayed in two-way time. They result from having material of a higher seismic velocity at rather shallow levels in the image. And it's a particular problem when that material varies in structure laterally, and it can create structures that look like folds in the underlying material. So there can be a particular issue when imaging thrust systems. So here's a possible example from the front of the Calabrian thrust system, offshore Italy. We have a panel of carbonates coming in from the right, which represents the foreland. And the thrust front contains this body here, which is most likely some evaporites of Mycenaean age that have been carried in. And this has a higher seismic velocity than that high frequency set of reflectors that lies right of the Mycenaean evaporites. So let's trace these fallen carbonates underneath the evaporites, picking that high amplitude reflector and the underlying carbonates there. This structure lies beneath the evaporites which have been carried in on thrust systems like this. So there's a bulge in the fallen carbonates. This looks like a real tectonic structure, but this seismic profile is displayed in seismic two-way time. And the seismic energy transmitted through the evaporites reaches the top of the carbonates far more quickly than it does ahead of those evaporites because the evaporites have a higher seismic velocity. The effect of having a higher seismic velocity is for the evaporites to appear rather thinner than they are in reality. So a more realistic type of cross-section could look something like this, where the fallen carbonates simply pass beneath the evaporites without a bulge or fold structure in the footwall to those thrusts. So that's the example of probable pull-up. So we can explore this using a hypothetical example here. And in this model, we see that at depth, there's that green material that has a seismic velocity of five kilometers per second. And this is carried up and onto material with a lower seismic velocity. So everything here shown with a beige color has a seismic velocity of three kilometers a second. So it's a really simple model and it will serve to illustrate the effect of pull up. So these are the seismic velocities assigned to the model in here. The geometry we see on this image is displayed with the vertical scale in depth. So in other words, it's a real geological section. We're going to replot this now in two-way time using the interval velocities you can see on the screen. So this is the plot we'll use. The horizontal scale will be the same as in the top diagram. It's the vertical scale that will change to be shown in two-way time. And we can make this simple by considering a series of vertical sections, six in all, A to F. And we're gonna replot them in the diagram below. And we'll work across this diagram from left to right, starting at A. So the diagram below shows the intervals replotted in two-way time. The upper part at three kilometers a second, and that lower piece at five kilometers a second. And we do the same again with B. There we go. Now, when we come to C, we can see the top part has that three kilometers a second material. And then there's a slice with the higher velocity of five kilometers a second that lies at a rather shallow level. And that's its thickness plotted in two-way time. And now we need to hang on to this vertical section, the rest of the units below that piece of higher velocity material. There. Okay, now let's continue and look at the column for D. There it goes. And E. And F. So these are the replotted vertical sections from the geological section at the top, where the vertical scale is in kilometers, to the lower section, where the vertical scale is in seismic two-way time. 
replotted using the information on the seismic velocities that we've shown in the top diagram. So now all we need to do to make a cross section in two-way time is to join this all up. And we can see that the image is distorted compared to the geometry we see in the geological section at the top. So let's just pull away our vertical sections and consider the profile below, which is shown in two-way time. So here we have a thrust that's carrying the higher velocity material to shallow levels in the profile. That higher velocity material tapers out to the left. And as a consequence, the underlying material is plotted to show what looks to be a fold in the footwall to that thrust. Imagine the darker band in the lower velocity three kilometers a second material uh, is a reservoir unit. It looks like we might have a trap structure developed in the footwall to a thrust. Is this fold real? No. That distortion, that shape is a product of the pull up caused by the higher seismic velocities above the thrust. Remember, this is what the structure looked like in geological reality. So the fold in the footwall is a velocity artifact pull up and it creates pseudo or fake folds. And the trap structures at depth are seismic artifacts. They're not really there at all. So this is a really simple illustration of pull up. A common feature on two-way time plots in many thrust systems